We truly live in the most fascinating time known to man. Einstein said it best. He said, if I was given 20 minutes to come up with a solution, I would spend 19 minutes devising the question and one minute answering it. How much time do you spend as an organization or in your personal capacity asking the questions about your future, which is so radically different from our past? In fact, every month that we go by, our past becomes more and more irrelevant. In this world where we are about to arrive with almost free communication, almost free transportation, and almost free energy for the whole world, the whole idea of the economy that we are working in currently is about to start imploding. In this new world where we see the Google Loon project being launched right now, the Tesla 4,425 satellite program about to be launched right now, and as well as Facebook solar drones, which are going to start giving the world free, fast Wi-Fi. This is what the stats look like. In 2010, what we had was 1.8 billion people connected to the internet. In 20, 2017, this year, we have 3 billion people connected to the internet. By 2022 and 2025, the whole world will be connected to free fast Wi-Fi. That's the biggest market ever known to man. My question to you is, how much time are you starting to use to ask the question that is going to get your organization ready for this type of world? Let's look at power. We see that now solar power is cheaper than coal in India. We can also see that 30 countries globally are now having the same stat that solar and wind is becoming cheaper than coal. We're also seeing that solar power eclipsed coal power in the UK just in 2016. And we're also starting to see that the coal industry will never recover. In fact, they're starting to switch these coal um, uh, plants into solar farms around the world. This is going to give us all free energy. How much time are you asking, giving the time to ask the questions about the organization that you are running or are part of about this new future? Elon Musk has already this year said that all Teslas will become self-driving. We also see that a former Tesla and BMW exec said that self-driving cars would start to kill car ownership in just five years. We won't own our own cars in just five years. This new world is now starting to really develop in a lot of cities that we are visiting. Singapore, Dubai, and Pittsburgh have now driverless taxis people, picking people up. In this new world, I really believe that we need to spend much more time asking very key questions about the world that we're moving towards. This, plus the fact that luxury has now become ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Porsches, Ferraris, and Louis Vuitton bags are a dime a dozen. In this new world, price is no more a number. It's a feeling. We as consumers or as employees, we spend much more time devising the question through our heart and not through our mind. Let me give an, exa an example of a company I worked with. A company called Brother Bees, South Africa's second largest honey manufacturer, came to me about eight months ago and said, John, we are starting to sell more honey than ever before, but making less profit than ever before. Sound familiar? In this new world where honey is everywhere, in fact, there's a lot of fake honey on the shelves. They said, John, what do we do in this world? So we launched a new brand for them called Golden Swarm. And Golden Swarm doesn't sell honey. Golden Swarm gives you an opportunity as a consumer to save the bees of the world. We have changed the dynamics. For $10 a month, you get your own hive in Zambia with your own name on it and GPS coordinates. For $10 a month, we get to send you 250 mils of honey from your hive. Now you can tell all your friends you have now saving the bees of the world. For just $20 a month, we can up that subscription and give you 500 mils of honey. That's what you really eat in a household on a monthly basis. For $30 a month, you can now start gifting a friend of yours with 250 mils of honey, showing off to your friends that now you are saving the bees of the world. Now all of a sudden, you're spending $30 a month on honey. Is that a logical decision? You're now saving the bees of the world for $30 a month. You have shifted the way you make a decision. So the world is moving from see me, see me, shouting through advertising and marketing to a world where we have to bring across the idea of how can I help you? How can I help you live your values better? 
So no matter what you're selling, from financial institutions to home loans to cell phone contracts, price is not a number, it's a feeling. My name is John Sane. I would love to help you and your organization devise the new question, getting you ready for your future. Thank you very much.